Your eyes have the power to reverse your search. You can be seeking God and your eyes have the ability to turn you in another way. You, you have to begin to monitor your desires. Because if I can place a desire in you that's not of God, but yet it seemed right, I can win.
worship you. You got some praises. Oh God, you got some participators. But God, you got some people that came in need this morning. They pressed their way. They've been fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. Hallelujah against the enemy. But they pressed their way to get here today. God, we move out of the way. God, that you can do what you want to do in them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, because you're our strength. Thank you, God, because you've been our mainstay. We worship you this morning. We give your name praise. We thank you for the praise team this morning, God. We bless you, God, that they continue to persevere. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you this morning, oh God. We give your name all praise. All the glory and all the honor belongs to you. Somebody needs you. Somebody came looking for you. Somebody needs you, Jesus. Somebody didn't come for the show. Thank you, praise team. Thank you so much. God, give the praise team a hand. Somebody didn't come for the show. Somebody came for Jesus. God, we give your name praise. All glory belongs to you. We thank you for setting the atmosphere for breakthrough in this house. We bless your name. Pastor Tricia, you can come up. We're not going to. You can come up. We thank you for setting the atmosphere for breakthrough. I want you to know whoever you are that you can get what you need in this place. Don't worry about the ones looking around that's lost and trying to wait for the right note or the right song. Don't worry about them. You press in. Jesus said, if you press in, you'll get everything that you need. Everything you came here for, you press in. You press in. You might not be all right with God, but you know God. You press in. Don't worry about the situation. Don't worry about your surroundings this morning. You press in. Get what you came here for. Amen. I give him praise this morning. I'm not going to belabor. Come on up, Pastor. Hallelujah. And we're sitting down and we're looking. And we're in the presence. He said, keep this atmosphere in reverence of me. This is how the church is going to continue to move. This is your job, Pastor. You keep the atmosphere set for my presence. We're sitting and we're looking, but look. What you going to do when you get in heaven? And you got to worship all day. You better get that mess right here. You better get it together here. There ain't going to be no sitting. There ain't going to be no looking at the clock. It's going to be holy, holy all day long. We're in the middle, and we're in the presence of the one that said, let there be, and there was. Let there be, and there was. We're in his presence, Shannon. No, 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 shut up. I don't play with the presence of God. Hallelujah. Let there be light, and there was light. Let us make man, and he breathed to his nostrils. We're in that presence. We're in the presence of the Almighty. We're in the presence of His Majesty. All power, all glory belongs to Him. The least we can do. I don't care if they sing for two hours. The least we can do is stay on our feet because we're not honoring the praise. We're honoring God. And He deserves to be honored in this space and in this place. I invite you now, if you know you didn't give him your best worship, and you know you were naked and looking around, I invite you now to jump to your feet and give him worship or give him praise. Give him what you think he deserves. What is he worth? What is he worth to you? What was his 
your dying work? What was the stabbing work to you? What was it worth to clean you up? What was it worth that he snatched you out? What is it worth to you? What is it worth? It's worth all of my praise. All of my worship. That's what it's worth to me. Let me tell you something. Got a phone call this morning about 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning. Somebody we love dear. Shot. Somebody walked up to their car and tried to murder him, tried to kill him. You think I'm coming here looking around? Oh my God. If, if, if you only knew what God is keeping you from, if you only knew what God has kept you from, you'll come in with an automatic prayer. Say, I ain't got, I don't need a song. I don't need a song. I just thank God because He kept me. Because He kept me. Young person didn't have a didn't have a praise team that pumped them up. They didn't have none of that. We gotta learn how to be grateful. Beyond grateful. We gotta learn how to press in. When you don't feel like pressing in. When you're not in the mood to press in. You still gotta press it because God is still worthy. Now, when you get to the place that He's no longer worthy, then no longer press. But I'll always have a press in me, brother, because I know what He's done for me. If He never does another thing in my life, one day Pastor gonna tell her story. But if He never does another thing in my life, He's done enough. He's done enough. I should be crazy. And some of y'all ought to be crazy. But it was the grace of God. Us out of. We ought to be crazy. But because we're in our right mind, we can give him the right praise. We're in our right mind, we can give him the right worship. He deserves it. under some rocks and got some of us. Some of us, he pulled us out of adulterated beds and he stopped bullets from taking our lives and he stopped the knife just enough where it wouldn't kill us. He pulled a crack pipe out of your teeth from between your lips. He took the bottle out of your hand. The 
That's why we worship. Because he changed us and he gave us a new man. He gave us a new spirit. And now we don't long to do those things anymore because we have been transformed by the blood of Christ. That's why we worship. And worship should be continual. The spirit is always willing. Your spirit wants to worship. But your flesh is weak. Your flesh says, don't do it. Don't, I don't feel like it. But your spirit is willing. And if you just lean into your spirit man, allow him to flow. He'll take you into a worship that will be unstoppable. You won't be able to stop. Let the spirit man loose. Don't control him. Don't quench him. Let him loose. He's the one that brought you through. It was the spirit man. It was him. It was God. It was the grace of God that brought us through. And I give him praise on today. I praise him. I praise him. Praise him, Stephanie. Won't nobody on them streets but with you. Praise him, William. Won't nobody out there with you. Man, you know you ought to praise him. You ought to throw your hands up and give him praise. You know the fight and the struggle. The people here that want Jesus. Some people here recognize they need him. Come on, pastor. I'm taking up too much time. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God. Amen. Amen. So, man, you can give me a fast 30 minutes. Fast 30 minutes. Praise the Lord. It's our joke. Yeah. Anybody excited about Jesus? His grace woke us this morning. Amen. Amen. I said his grace woke us this morning. Amen. Sometimes it's just that simple. God, I thank you for your grace. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I guess Brother Gilbert got tired of me using those paper towels. I appreciate that, brother. Now if I could just keep passing my tissue hands off, but <laughs> everything would be all right. All right. All right. God is good, eh? Oh, wow. This is the second time I preached from this perspective. I've only done this once. The Lord is leading me to do it this way again. Now, last week I told you that we was going to, I needed some team members. Team members. And, and I told you this was my team. Everybody who sat here was on my team. Amen. And it looks like I have about 17 members. Amen. I used to recruit a little better than that, but I take seven. I take seven. I guess the rest of you are not on my team. Amen. 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 I, I say that to say this. I come to fight this morning. I come to pick a fight. Um, and, and since I only have eight of me, uh, we got to gather some big boulders. Amen. But, but I come to fight with you this morning. Uh, I'm not your friend today. I, I am your enemy today. And, and I want to talk to you from a character. Anytime you want to change team, feel free. Uh, you, you can either move your seat or just raise your hand and say, I'm no longer on your team. All right? All right? I'll, give, I'll, give you that, I'll give you that ability. All right? And before we get into that, we've been talking about members. And, and God has revealed to me that the man who can control his members is the successful man. And we've talked about the mind and we have talked about the tongue uh, today, I want to talk from the perspective that I am the baddest member alive. I am the baddest member alive. And, and I want to go with the text. If you would stand all over the building and read the text real quick, jump back into the character. I would jump in and out of character at times, but once the Lord uh, pushed us, we would just stay in character. Amen? Amen. But i uh, tell your neighbor, he come to pick a fight this morning. Uh, I come to kill you this morning. Uh, I am the baddest member alive, I, and, and I come to destroy you this morning. Uh, I want you to get that attitude. I want you to get that thought that uh, I come to whoop you this morning. I, I didn't come to be your friend this morning. I, I came to win. Right. And I hope you have the same attitude. Any winners in the house? Yeah. Uh, I know Sister Stephanie used to be a fighter, but, but I came to fight this morning. <laughs> uh, I came to win. 
Uh, we're going to pick it up in Matthew chapter 5, read the key text, and then we're going to keep it rolling. Amen? Amen? Will you lose today? Uh, that is a question. Uh, a lot of people are in, it looks like you're in between, you don't really know. Uh, I'm going to ask it again. <laughs> Will you lose today? No. no. Okay. Praise the Lord. It's, it's just, hopefully we got some winners in the house. Right. Amen. Matthew chapter 5, verse 29. And if thy eye offend thee, the Bible says, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one member should perish and not the whole body should be cast into the pit of hell. Uh, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. In character today, I am the baddest member alive. Uh, I come to kill the believer today. Uh, I'm not your friend today. I am your enemy today. Uh, I come to lead you in the wrong direction today. You, you're still on my team. Uh, somebody already checked out. <laughs> They're <laughs> checking out all over the place. Uh, uh, looks like I'm going to be teamless today. Uh, I, I come to have victory in every area of your life today. Uh, I am the baddest member alive. I, I come to destroy your finances today. Uh, I come to destroy your family today. Uh, I come to, oh, I just had another one check out on me. Uh, I come to destroy your friends today. Uh, I am the baddest member alive. I, I come to destroy your fate today. Uh, I come to destroy your fitness today. For I am the baddest member alive. And I am talking about the eyes in which we use for sight. For some believer, it is better to be blind than it is to, be, to have perfect sight. <laughs> because a blind man doesn't have to fight the fight that we fight with our sight. But since everybody in here can see, you are in a fight with me. And I am the baddest member alive. Uh, I come to, to kill the preacher. Uh, I come to kill the praise team leader. Uh, I, I come to kill your sons and your daughters. And I am the baddest member alive. Uh, my job is to destroy you. My job is to create a desire in you that you would chase after with everything you have. Uh, I am the baddest member alive. Uh, nobody's on my team now, right? Okay, well, praise the Lord. I, I'm known to fight by myself anyway. So let's fight. Uh, my journey started a long time ago. Uh, I am a battle winner. I started in Genesis chapter 3. Verses 1 through 7. Uh, I started right there winning the battle over the believer and those that desire to be a believer. Uh, right there in Genesis chapter 3, I begin to win. And today I'm still winning because I am the baddest member alive. Uh, let me show you what I did in Genesis chapter 3. In the world we that now the serpent was more subtle than any beast in the field which the Lord thy God made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, You should not eat of every tree in the garden? And the one woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat, neither you shall touch, lest you die. And me being the baddest member, begin to stir, stir. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. For God do it nor the day that they eat thereof, that their eyes shall be opened. I, the baddest member began to work right here in Genesis chapter number 3. And not only will your eyes be opened, it says that you shall be as gods with a little g. And you shall know good and you shall know evil. The, the eyes are beginning to work. The, the baddest member of life is beginning to work. Uh, I'm excited because it looks like I'm going to win. And verse 6 says, and when the woman saw, uh, my, my job is to create a desire. 
that, that's so strong in you that you begin to reach for. I'm the baddest member alive. Verse 6, it says, when the woman saw that the tree was good. And she, she saw it. I, I planted this desire in her to, to begin to look at what God said, don't touch. Y'all with me? Uh, I began to plant in her the very thing God said not to do. All I did was to get her to look at it. And then once she looked at it, she, she saw that it was good for food. My trick is simply this. The Bible says in verse 6 that it was pleasant. For the eyes. If, if I can get it to look pleasant to you, uh, I can get you to walk away from God. If I can get it to look good to you, I can get you to disobey God. If I can get it to look desirable to you, which is my job because I am the baddest member alive. I'm the baddest member alive. And, and I've been working on some of you all week. I know we're going to get real quiet today. Uh, uh, old folks in the old days said turn the TV off. But, but I've been working all week through the TV. Uh -huh. Come on. Uh, I've been working through YouTube. and uh, I've been working through TikTok. And I've been working through Instagram all week. I'm the baddest member alive. Uh, some of you, I, uh, I begin to influence your ears this week by showing you a picture. Uh, listening to the cussing preacher, uh, I begin to do your eyes, begin to penetrate your soul. Uh, it, it was through your eyes that I began to pull you away into lust. It was, it was through your eyes where I began to pull you away back to your old habits. It was through your eyes that I began to do my damage. Yeah, I am the baddest member of life. I, I'm badder than a mind. I'm I'm better than a tongue because I can get you to see it. I don't have to say a word. I can just show you a picture. I'm, I'm so bad you will chase it. I put it before you day in and day out. Day in and day out. I, I show you a picture of the things in which you desire. I'm a bad man. In verse 6, it says, Then the woman saw that the tree was good, and that they, it was pleasant to the eyes. And then it says, She desired, she desired it. And I only have a couple of steps to take. And it says, She did eat. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the, the last part of that, she did give something to her husband, but uh, that's, that's another day. In verse 7, it says, The eyes of both of them were open. Both of them were open. Uh, I don't have to work on your neighbor. I can just work on you. Uh, I can influence you enough, and you will help me out influence somebody else. Uh, I'm a bad man. Uh, I can show you a pornographic movie, and you will talk to somebody else about it. I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. I can show you something wrong and get you to chase it with everything in you. And you would declare that you fall in the will of God, but, but I am the eyes. And I come to blind. And I come to misguide. And I come to allow you to trust me. If I can get you on my side, I will win. And I know you're saying, man, no way, no way, no way. The Bible says that we're drawn away by our own lust. Uh, I talked to the members of the ears and, and I asked the ears, what are you hearing? And the ears begin to say, I hear them saying I'm lonely. Okay, okay. What else are you hearing, Mr. Ear? I, I hear them saying I'm broke. Uh, I hear them saying I'm thirsty. I hear him saying, I'm tired of being by myself. What else are you hearing, Mr. Ear? And we begin to work in tandem. He tells me what you're hearing. I bring it before you. I show you a picture. And not many days hence, I talk to the mind. Mr. Mind, what you got him thinking about? 
I got them thinking that they they're nobody. I, I got them thinking. I got them thinking that there'll never be nobody. There'll never be nobody. There'll never be nobody. They can't walk the walk. I got them thinking that way. And Mr. Ears, I, Mr. Ears, what are you hearing? Uh, I talked to Mr. Mouth, and Mr. Mouth said, "Now I got them speaking. I got them speaking. They they weren't thinking, but now they're speaking." I can't live this walk. I can't walk this walk. And Mr. Eyes, all I got to do is show him a picture. I'm the baddest member alive. I know you don't believe it, but in Joshua chapter 7, I caused a man to die and kill his whole family. I'm that bad. The Bible says in Joshua 7, 19 and 21, it is the story of Achan. The Bible said, Joshua said unto Achan, read it when you get time. My son, I pray, give glory to God of Israel. And make a confession unto him and tell me now what hast thou done. This is the time that the children of Israel begin to attack the land, win the land, take over the land. And all of a sudden they go out to fight and they're not winning anymore. I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. The Bible says that the Lord tells Joshua, Joshua was praying unto the Lord, and the Lord says, Joshua, what are you doing? There is sin in the camp. The question is, how did he get in? Through the eyes. I'm a, I'm a bad man. I break sin through the eyes. And, and just in a little while, give me a little time. I, I have you touching it. I have you talking about it. I have you, I, I have you doing things that you say you never would do. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to be popular today. But it's all right. We find in Joshua chapter 7, the Bible said that Achan answered unto Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord. Yep, I've done it. And thus and thus have I done. And he said, verse 21, When I saw the spots, I, I just saw it, Pastor Rod. I, I had no desire of it. I just saw it. And from the time I saw it, I began to desire it. And he says, when I saw the spots, I, I saw how good they were. I, I saw the 50 shekels of gold and how beautiful it looked. The Bible says, and I covered them. You, you, you got to watch what you put before your eyes. And, but I'm the baddest man alive. It's my job to show you the body builder. It's my job to, to show you something that you desire. It's my job. He says, I covered them, and behold, he took them, and, and Joshua took Achan, his whole household, his cattle, and his goat, and his sheep, and he stoned them all. My job was successful. I'm the baddest member alive. I am the eyes. You can't beat me. I'm, I'm bad. Uh, I had some of you last night. I'm a bad man. Uh, help me, Lord. Uh, I, I'm so bad I can cause your family chaos. Just in by what I showed them, what they think they saw. Uh, I don't have to show them the real picture. I can just show them half the story. Uh, I don't have to show them everything. I, I can show them a part of the story. And your whole family will turn against you. Uh, I know you're saying, Pastor, I don't know about that one. Judges chapter 14. Uh, talking about my main man, Samson. The Bible says Samson went down to Tipna and saw a woman there of the Philistines. When we look at that story, we say, well, that's a negative situation. The challenge here is God had called Samson to a call. Mama and daddy didn't know the call. And when I showed Samson a thing to answer his call, it, it created tension in his household because the parents were not discerning of the things of God. And because they're not discerning of the things of God, then I can confuse the whole house. Well, uh, I was 
hoping to get a couple of amens today, at least one or two, but it's all right. Your eyes have the power to reverse your search. You can be seeking God, and your eyes have the ability to turn you in another way. You, you have to begin to monitor your desire. Because if I can place a desire in you that's not of God, but yet it seems right, uh -huh. I can win. Amen. It is the sight. Uh, okay, y'all with me now? I, I know some of you are buttoning it up just trying to say, I ain't going to watch TV. Eh? But you got to control your eyes. If you're lonely, you probably shouldn't be watching love stories all day. Uh, okay, I just throw that out there. Uh, if you're married, you probably shouldn't be watching a movie that adulterers are running around in the movie. I'm just saying, uh, I'm just planting a seed, baby. Uh, I'm just a seed planter. Uh, all I want is your eyes. Uh, if you're a murderer, you probably shouldn't be watching murderous movies. Uh, if you're an alcoholic, you probably should be laughing when you see somebody stumbling. I'm just painting a picture for you. Uh, and I'm going to keep painting that picture. And painting that picture. And painting that picture until you start coming my way. And when you come my way, I'm going to call my friends. Uh, I'm going to call the mind. Uh, I'm going to call the tongue. Uh, because I need you to say something. I don't only need you to say it, but I got to get you to say it. I had a team, but they quit on me. If the team member of the time can get you to speak, all I got to get to do is show you the picture. It works like this. Can, can y'all see that? What does it say? See, see, see? I just showed the picture. And they all spoke. Okay. Y'all see this? What does it say? I just showed the picture. And he spoke. All I got to do is show you a pretty picture. And get the mouth to work with me just a little bit. And you will speak. And when you speak... The mind goes to work. The mind begins to work. The mind begins to work. Begins to show you things. Jody gives you a call. Okay, yeah. Something new in these days. What is it this day? In my day, it was Jody. You, you lonely. You sad. And, and I get you to see on TV. I get you to see it in a letter. I get you to see it somewhere. But I got to get you to speak it. And when you say a thing, the phone rings. I'll talk about him next week. But when I get you on the phone, game is over, baby. You move in my way. I know you don't believe it. Matthew chapter 14. I will... Erase the fate of the strong. Just take it away. We, we find in Matthew 14, verses 27 through 31, we find a man by the name of Peter. Y'all know Peter? The, the stone, the rock, the, the courageous one. And verse 27 says, But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be ye of good cheer. It is I... Be not afraid. Jesus is walking on the water right now in the middle of the night. <laughs> These boys looking and saying, hey, I think it's a ghost. But Jesus said, be not afraid. Uh, it is I. Uh, right thing and everything should have got calm. But verse 28 says, Peter answered and said, Lord, if it be thou bid me to come. And you know the story. The Bible says that Peter began to walk on water. He began to go see Jesus, visit Jesus on the water. 
In verse 29, he said, he said, he said, come. Come, Peter, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water, the Bible says, to go to Jesus. Uh, verse 30 says something that's very interesting. It says, but when he saw the wind, the trouble started. The problems began to create. And we wonder why we get in so much trouble with our flesh. It's what we see. Y'all didn't hear me. I, I said it's what you see. The flesh wins because what you put before it. Okay. But when he saw the winds, I often say that that was an interesting dynamic there um, because I'm of the opinion that you can't really see wind, but you can see the effects. And so let's just assume he saw the effects of it. And the Bible says he became afraid because of what he saw. And what he saw caused him to begin to sink. He, he's sinking because of what he saw. Uh, sometimes you just have to make a decision that this is just not a good TV show. And I'm mean, the pastor saying you shouldn't watch TV. No, do whatever you want. It's your eyes. I'm just telling you, if you want to serve Jesus, your eyes will get you in trouble. Your eyes will get you in trouble. And the Bible says, he cried out. And sometimes you got to understand that you got to cry out sometimes. You got to cry out when you're in trouble. And like I said, some of you was in trouble all week. Watching the wrong thing. Listening to the wrong people. Talking the wrong language. You was going in the wrong direction. And you got here this morning, you got to cry out to Jesus. He said, Lord, I'm in trouble. It's my job as the baddest member alive to get you in trouble. It's my whole purpose is to wipe you out. My whole job is to get you to sink. And I just want you to see a thing. If I can get you to see your past and remind you how good your past was, remind you how perfect your past is, Maybe I can get your mind to lean that way a little bit. And when I get your mind leaning that way just a little bit, I'm going to get your mouth to say something. And when your mouth said, I win. Because we headed in that direction. Y'all ain't going to help me preach today. And now I'm finna, I've been fighting how I should go this way, but trying to be a little sensitive. Hey, ain't one way to do it, I guess. It's, it's just do it, right, Brother Jay? There's a reason you're struggling with lust. There's a reason that lust is affecting your flesh. The question is, what are you seeing? What are you looking at? What are you listening to? There's a reason that lying is trying to overtake you. What are you watching on TV? All of this trickery, all of this conniving, and all of this stealing and robbing. You think that's not going to affect your spirit? Baby, you crazy. Anything you set before your eyes has the ability to have an impact on your spirit. Last week, Sunday, we left. We left here Sunday, and these stickers was all over our cars about this show coming up. Uh -huh. I'm not big on music, and, but when I picked up the picture, I didn't see a show. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I didn't see a show. I saw a show win, uh -huh. but I didn't see a show. Uh -huh. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Amen. The devil would dress it up. Yeah. And when I looked at the picture, I didn't see... Jesus at all. Uh, what I saw was somebody being sexy for Jesus. Uh, I don't know what that means, but, but I saw a sexy red dress. Come on now. Uh, Y'all in the world, any man in here? Well, we understand that you in the club dressed up in red, tight like that, shaping everything out. That means something. And holy ain't it. Watch what you see. 
But I'll just dress it up for you. I'll just lay it out there. That's all. I'm just fishing. I'm just fishing, Pastor Rob. That's all. I'm just fishing. Whatever you say you like, I, I'm just fishing. Oh, you want the bodybuilder? Let me send him to you. Oh, you want the pretty boy, Ric Flair? Let me send him to you. Woo! You, you want the man of God? Let me, let me send him to you. <laughs> let me send him dressed up just how you want him. When you can't see any of his faults, let me let me send him to you. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, y'all know I'm telling the truth. It is the start of the fall. It's when I dress it up for you. It's the start of the fall. This is our start. I am the baddest member alive. It's called the eye. If I can show it to you and get you to itch just a little, I can talk you out of your salvation, baby. Y'all remember the story of Joseph in Potiphar's house? Uh, this week I was meditating on that story. Because a powerful story because we understand that Joseph left his coat. My question is how did she get so close that you left your coat? She showed you a picture. And maybe, just maybe, just maybe Pastor Rod, I don't know, maybe, maybe he said hi. Maybe he said bye. But I know for one thing for sure, he left his coat. Maybe he started undressing. I don't know. I wasn't there. I, I could only use my imagination as a man. If your coat's off, you in the wrong, baby. You should have got to running when the first words came out of her mouth. Soon as she said, lie with me, you should have, hallelujah, I'm gone. Send me to the prison, the pit, wherever, but I'm out of here, baby. Oh, this is just me. Yep. Yep. Now y'all thinking, how in the world did this coat get on? <laughs> Something went on with his eyes. Because look, I, I'm one to say, if you weren't attracted to her, you would have hit the door, baby. <laughs> oh, should no, if you look like Leo, I'm gone. <laughs> Gotta have fun. But, but, but you gotta be careful. What you put before your eyes. My fast 30 minutes is gone. I got two more, two more points. Second Samuel chapter 11. Verse 1 and 2. The Bible reads, And it came to pass, after a year was expired. My title is, Because I'm the baddest member alive, I can get you to kill your own soldier. I can get you to wipe out your homeboy. I can get you to kill one you love because I'm the baddest member of life. And it came to pass after the year it was expired at the time when kings were to go forth to battle. And J David sent Joab to battle. And he sent some more people. He sent Joab to go besiege the city. And the Bible said, but David tarried in Jerusalem. This is when I really work on you. I work on you when you're tarrying. When you're inactive in ministry. Uh, when, you, when you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. I, the, the Bible said this was the time that king was supposed to go to battle. In fact, if God would have been judging him, he would have killed him right there. But, but he let him slide. And this is when I really go to work, Pastor Rod. It's when you call to do something and you ain't doing it. And I'm going to paint this picture before you. You, you should be ministering. You should be uh, evangelizing. You should be teaching. You should be doing something. But now I'm going to work. I'm really going to work now because I got you right where I want it. The battlefield is over yonder. 
It's just me and you, baby. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Yeah. You got the best man out there. He ain't even here to check you. It's just me and you. I'm going for the kill now. It's just me and you. The Bible says, but David tarried in Jerusalem. It's just me and you. I, I don't know what you're fighting for. I don't know what you're fighting with. But I come to kill you. Uh, I come to destroy you. You are on my land and on my territory right now. I got you now. But the Bible said at evening time, David went up to the rooftop. Uh, I will suggest to you that this was not the first time that David looked at pornographic movies. Uh, I'm just paraphrasing. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just paraphrasing. This wasn't the first time that David thought about smoking a blunt. Uh, I'm just paraphrasing. Uh, this wasn't the first time that, that, that David thought about fornicating. Uh, this wasn't the first time that, that David thought about committing adultery. Uh, this was a, a time or two. Uh, I got him where I want him at now, baby. I'm about to kill him. This wasn't the first time you talked to June Bug. Uh, uh, this wasn't the first time you, you, you talked to Roof Raffle, whatever their names is today. This wasn't the first phone call. Uh, this wasn't the first text. Uh oh. This wasn't the first text. Send me, send me a pitch. This, this wasn't the first text. Uh, this is a text three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, and you're still repenting text. David is right where I want him. He's outside of his call. He's just saved. I'm finna annihilate him. He ain't working the ministry. He ain't even thinking about the ministry. I'm about to kill him. I'm about to take him out. I got him right where I want him. The Bible said evening time. When everybody else is asleep, the texts are ringing. Ding, ding, ding. June bug texting at 12 o'clock at night. Joanna's texting at 12 o'clock at night. It's evening time. Everybody appears to be asleep. The king arose off his bed. Maybe he had trouble going to sleep. <laughs> Maybe he's thinking about Joab and the boys out fighting. But I'm thinking he was about to go to sleep. Until he got a text, meet me on the rooftop. It wasn't a text from the girl. It was a text from me, the baddest memory alive. Wow. David, you remember what you saw yesterday at evening time? David, you remember what you saw last week at evening time? I will submit to you that this is probably not David's first time going on the rooftop. Now, I have no theology to back that up. But I do have my life to draw from. My life tells me that this wasn't the first visit on the rooftop. But I woke him up, Pastor Rod, with just a little shake. And the Bible says he rose out of his bed and he went to the rooftop. And the Bible says that he saw <laughs> he saw a woman <laughs> that's all I got to do is to get you to see and I don't think this was the first time I showed him uh, I done showed him three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times because this time I got him to act he says that he says that I he saw a woman on the rooftop. The Bible says she was very beautiful to look upon. This, this one look, Pastor Rod, caused a man after God's own heart to, to do something unthinkable. He, he decided to do something about what I told him to do. If I got King David, who are you? Who, who are you? Who are you?
you who are you? I, I'm the baddest man alive. Uh, the pastor may not know about it, but, but I, I can get you too. If I got King David. Everything was under his authority. If I got King David. Who, who are you? Come on, keep, keep watching me late at night. Keep texting me you want to. Come on, keep texting me. Keep sending me texts. Come on, keep sending them. Come on, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm about to take you out. Come on, keep sending them. Keep sending them. Keep sitting on the sideline with your calls here. Keep sitting there, keep sitting there. If I got King David, who are you? Who are you? The Bible goes on to say that David desired of her. Call for her. And the messenger said, Yo, yo, king, uh, this is our homeboy wife. I know the Bible says this is your hour, but there's a reason that they spoke his name. His name is not there by accident. If his name is there, that means for sure King David knew who he was. So I just used another term. Hey, this, this is our homeboy's wife. This, this, this is not one of the Philistines, our enemy's wife. This is our homeboy's wife. And I have painted the picture so good, Pastor Rob. He said, get her for me. <laughs> I'm that bad. If I can get the king to turn, who? Who, 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 who are you? Who you texting in the middle of the night? I can't get off of that. I'm stuck right there. Who, who you texting? Who, 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 who's calling you in the middle of the night? Who, who's saying good, pretty things in your ear? Woman of God, who's speaking, as old folks say, sweet nothings. Sweet nothings. Throw a scripture there and now and then. Uh-oh. Uh, throw a scripture there and now and then. Because I got to paint the picture right. And because you haven't done any research, and you don't know who it is you're talking to, you think it's Junebug, but it's me. Eyes. I'm talking. But you ain't listening. I'm staring, but you ain't listening. You ain't watching. You just driving. Getting too close to the cliff. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Okay. Since I won, and you're not shouting and dancing, that's an that's a, that's a indication that I won. I won. I'm going to give you the secret and how to beat me. I don't release secrets most of the time, but I'm going to give you a secret. Second Kings chapter 6. I'm going to give you a secret. You can beat me. I can be beaten. Since you're not right, I'm going to hold the secret to next week. Just a joke. I'm going to get this secret out there. Right now today. Yes, yeah, sir. Woo. They had me on the rest all week. That's why I couldn't shout and dance when the praise team was going. Because the Lord is beating me up. There's a King David in the house. That's headed to the rooftop. I need you to speak to King David. <laughs> Holy Ghost beat me down. I couldn't even dance. I mean, y'all were singing. I felt it, but I kept hearing, there's a King David in the house. Like, man, Lord, I want to I want to dance. There's a King David in the house. And he's headed to the rooftop. He's running. She's running from me. And they headed to the rooftop. Lord, help me. Thank you, Jesus. 
King David, King David, hear me. Hear me, King David. Hear me, Miss David. Don't go to the rooftop. Don't go, don't. Don't go to the rooftop. Don't, don't go to the rooftop, King David. Sister David, don't go. I'm trying to move on. Second Kings chapter 6. I'm going to give you a secret on how to beat me. How to beat me. Verses 15 through 17. And when the servant of the Lord, of the man of God, was risen early, he goeth forth. Behold, a host camped about the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be against us. Verse 17, and Elijah prayed and said, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see, that he may see. And the young servant's eyes was open. And he saw them that was with him versus them that was against him. And those that was with him was more and mightier. Here's the point of the story. You got to open your eyes. Not your natural eyes. Because I work against your natural eyes. I can only work against your natural eyes. Because I am the member of the eye. And I work with your natural sight. You have to open your spiritual eyes. And look through a different lens. I'm going to help you out. This changed my life. I don't care how good he looks or how bad he is. What's, what's the word of the day? Uh, uh, how he twinkle your eye when you look at him. You have to look through a set of spiritual eyes. Because you see what I'm showing you. But you're not seeing what's not been shown. Amen. You see, man of God. But through my spiritual eyes, I see more blue than I do, man of God. And in my natural eyes, if my spiritual eyes be right, my spiritual eyes are right. There's more blue than there is man of God. If you look through your spiritual eyes, God can show you something. And you can quickly say, counterfeit. Okay, how many scriptures they quote? I don't care. But if they want to take you to the rooftop, uh -huh. I don't think I never preached a message like this in my life. If they ask you to go to the rooftop, you have to put on another set of eyes. Amen. Your spiritual lens. Your spiritual lens will allow you to see what God is calling it. Good place to take notes. We call it Jumba. God may be calling it a devil. For lack of better words, I figured you'd get that versus saying something else. We call him our next husband. Do I? God's eyes, he calling a drunkard. Are oh, y'all hearing me? I'll try it another way. You see. Your future husband, fine, dressed up. God sees an adulterer. What you see and what God sees is not the same thing. God is trying to show you David on the rooftop. And because you're so lonely and you're so hungry, you want to eat that whole cake. God is trying to show you if you eat this whole cake, your diabetes is going to go through the roof. But you want it so bad, it looks so good. It tastes so wonderful. God is trying to show you he's going to kill you. I'm trying to create some humor because you ain't laughing with me. I know you want something so bad, but you need to take the next step 
and see what God sees. We said God said start a church. Now, I'm going to tell you. First thing I thought about was preaching every Sunday. I said, man, no. <laughs> Ain't no way on this side of earth I can preach more than once a quarter. <laughs> and, <laughs> and if y'all know Pastor Patricia, then she going to keep on moving. I'm sitting in park. Brother Jay, I ain't like, man, look, nah. I ain't trying to leave no more people. After that last military experience, I'm done leaving. I'm finished. But I had enough common sense to say, okay, after I pouted and cried about it, I had enough common sense to ask this simple question. God, what do you say? What do you see? Simple question. Now, if you ask the question, you have to be prepared for the answer. And so now I'm preaching, right? <laughs> sums that up. But God is trying to talk you off the rooftop. He's trying to show you something. I hear the Spirit saying, your eyes are still closed. I tried to quit at 30 minutes. I got to keep going until the Lord releases me. I'm trying to show you something. Uh, I'm trying to prevent a train wreck. I'm trying to stop you from walking off the cliff. But your eyes are still closed. And the only sight you can see with is your flesh. And that is the whole purpose of the members. The members can only walk a fleshly walk. I can only see what my natural eyes see. But somehow you're going to have to tap into another set of eyes. Oh, I feel, I feel released now. You have to see what God sees. And it is of urgency. You take your notes. It's, it's, it's urgent. It's an urgent message from heaven that you see quickly. You, God wants you to see now. Right now, God said. Right now, I need you to see. I need you to see. But nevertheless, it's your choice. And I am the baddest member of life. And if you want to, I'll meet you on the rooftop tonight. I'll go ahead and walk you off the cliff if you want to tonight. Text me tonight and watch what happens. Text me tonight, I'm going to make another move. Call me tonight, I'm going to make another move. Call me tonight. Call me tonight. And watch me.